Hello everyone, and welcome back to Everyday Espo. We're excited to get back in the swing of things here. And to start everything off, we have a new 2017 Hyundai Tucson. It's in the beautiful Coliseum Gray. And we thought we'd start with the Hyundai because they're very reliable. Um, one of our parents actually drive one. You know, they're just it's just a seamless drive, does have a sporty feel. It's basically that middle ground car, you know, for families and just like your average standard car. So we're gonna take a look at it. It does have some nice amenities and let's get started. All right, so let's get started here. So the Tucson has just your average key fob. You got the lock, unlock, uh, the trunk release, and the alarm button. So I thought by we would start by taking a look under the hood. Here's the hood handle right here, just your average spot. And we already had the hood up, as I said. So the Tucson's come with two available engines, depending on the edition that you get, their Sport Eco SE. This one has a two liter naturally aspirated four cylinder engine. Uh, there's also the 1.6 turbocharged engine that's available. Uh, we'll put the specs full on the screen. Overall it's good fuel economy, just gives overall a seamless drive. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Specs will be on the screen. Also just to add with the Tucson's, uh, this one has a six speed auto transmission. You can also get the seven speed dual clutch, but here in America we usually have the six speed auto. It's more popular. It's the more middle ground for people. All right, so we're gonna take a look at the exterior here. We have a nice uh, curved hood. It's got some lines on it. You know, nothing nothing too fancy, but nothing too plain. We got the Hyundai symbol. We have a, a pretty nice looking grill here. You can kind of feel, it's not that nice material, but it, it does look pretty nice. You got some parking sensors down here. They do have the LED uh, daytime lights. They're LED accented, all that type of stuff. You got your fog lights. Oh, let's also take a look at the wheels over here. They are a little dirty, but these are the 17-inch rims. It also comes with the option of 19 on certain editions. I believe it's the limited. Also, overall, if you look at the car, it, it looks very sleek, very slim. You know, it, they do have, the Hyundai does do a nice touch. They do add some lines to it. Again, we have the 17-inch rims with the all-season tires. And let's take a look at the back here. So, the headlights do look a little different. Uh, than your average car. They do pop out a little bit, but overall, they look very nice. Obviously, you have more parking sensors back here. Your brake lights, your third brake light. And overall, very nice feel to the car. All right, everyone, so let's take a look at the interior. Overall, it's pretty upscale. This car does have the leather package. The seats are cloth, though. It comes with many different packages. Like, you can get the navigation screen. You can get heated seats, ventilated seats. As I said, the car does, does have different models. So, everything comes with different packages. Over on the driver's side door, nothing pretty upscale. Just, you know, your average operators operations here. You have your windows. You have your lock, unlock, your mirror controls. Under the bottom left of the steering wheel, you do have traction control and to control the inside lights to the car. Um, steering wheel, overall, it feels a little rigid, but pretty smooth. This is leather. It does have the controls on it. Uh, you have cruise control. You have your radio settings. You can also hook up your phone here. Obviously, 2017, you can have the Bluetooth. Uh, this does have some sort of CarPlay mode. We're gonna look into that. You here you got your light controls, your windshield wiper controls, your tachometer, speedometer. It does have a little electronic screen in the middle here that shows your miles per gallon, and you can also change that to whatever feature you want on there. Also, like I said, this car has a six-speed transmission. The floor mats have the Tucson on it, which we'll show it later. You have a lot of, you have bottle holders um, and cubby space on the sides. You also have two cup holders in the middle over here. Also here, you can change your drive modes. Uh, depending on the edition you get, you can have sport mode, or if you have the dual clutch, you can get the paddle shifters, all that type of stuff. You can also um, do different things with the suspension if you want to lock it up. Overall, there's a lot of space here. You have your USB aux and two 12 volts over there. Above that, you have your climate control center. It is dual climate control zones, so that's pretty cool. That's becoming standard with Hyundai. So over here, well, when we turn on the car, you'll get to see this, but that's all the radio settings and how you can set your phone up. Overall, the seats are pretty comfortable. Um, I don't know if five people for a long drive would be comfortable in this car, probably four people. But let's take a look up here. We have our, our standard reading lights, um, place for your sunglasses, you know, just standard everything over here. 
There's your mirrors. Um, so overall, the interior is pretty upscale. It's definitely not, you know, Honey didn't just throw it in or make it, you know, they did it. They did a good job, and they always, you know, like to upgrade everything. So let's move on. All right, guys, we're gonna take a look at the electronic screens on here. Uh, as you, Honey does a nice touch. They have like a little model of the car telling you there's a door open. You have the different modes, the temperature, and this car is almost brand new, so about 2,000 miles. Over here on the screen, uh, the time pops up. You can change that to whatever you want. Uh, you know, you can do your setup and everything. Everything's on here. It's a very sleek, you know, it's not touch screen, so it's not that upscale, but it's a nice touch to the car. All right, let's take a look at the back seats here. So you do have a pretty deep floor, uh, pretty comfortable. You do have the back seat net pockets here. Again, some nice cubby space with bottle holders. Uh, nothing fancy back here, but with the different packages, you can get heated seats back here. It all depends on what you want. Also, no back vents here. That's like on the limited and whatever other addition uh, this car has. Also, we have a nice center armrest here with two more cup holders. So you can probably hold enough cups for an army in here at this point. Um, you have your reading lights. Everything is pretty standard back here. So overall, not a bad interior. But, you know, Hyundai's been reliable over the years. It's a great car. It's that middle ground car, like I said, for people. So they do hold some nice touches, like the center console here has like a leather finish to it. That I had forgotten to say. But overall, this gives you a little feel for the back seat here. I'm, a, I'm not a small dude and I do have a lot of, of leg space and I'm also not that tall. And there is a lot of room between me and the ceiling. It's overall pretty comfortable. And let's take a look at the trunk. All right, so let's take a look at the trunk here. This does not have the option where it's the Hyundai uh, hands-free trunk opener. You have to open it manually. Obviously, like I said, different models, different editions, different amenities. So you have a pretty decent amount of cubic feet here. You have a 12 volt port over here. Um, also down here, you have the spare tire in place to store anything you need. Also on the other Hyundais, there's a feature where this, uh, the floor of the of the truck bed right here can drop, I think, three or four inches. So that allows for anything that doesn't reach to fit right in. Obviously, the back seats go down, so you have more trunk space if needed. Also, if you take a look right here, you do have the rear view camera. That's also an amenity that's on this car. Many Hyundai Tucson's have that now. Again, depends what different model you have and packages. But overall, pretty nice trunk space. Nothing to complain about. Definitely not small. Your average size male ground car. Alrighty guys, let's see how she sounds. So, we thought we'd move on to the fun part, which is test driving the car. So why don't we get to it? Alrighty guys, so let's get this test drive started. Um, this car definitely has a nice elevation level to it. You know, you don't feel like you're in a, a big truck, but you don't feel like you're in a Miata. You know, it's like, just like I said, that middle ground car. It's got re really overall very smooth, nice amenities. Engine, you can hear it a little bit. It does sound a little sporty. Definitely not uh, used to this quiet though, as my Mustang is pretty, pretty loud. You know, you definitely don't stand out in this car, but it is pretty smooth. And it's, it's very, uh, averagely priced. I think the base model is in the low 20s and it can go up I think to 31,000 the limited. You know, so far I haven't had a problem with this car. I've been driving around for a few minutes. Um, just like I said, nice elevation. The mirrors, you get a good view. You know, you don't have any problems with, you know, blind spots and stuff like that. Alrighty guys, thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video. We do put a lot of time and effort into making these videos because we really wanted to make the best for you guys. So if you did like, like, comment, and subscribe. And um, for future content, we are, in the next couple of days, we are gonna be reviewing uh, F350 uh, Harley Davidson edition. It, it's really cool, so please stay tuned for that. Yeah, it's actually an F3 uh, 350 Super Duty Platinum, so it's an awesome truck. It's got lots of mods. We also have an interesting future, an interesting twist for this channel coming up. Uh, we're gonna kind of keep it a little bit of a surprise. A lot of our friends know already, but for the channel as a whole, we're gonna keep it a little bit. You know, we're gonna keep it simplified for now, but a very interesting future coming. Stay tuned, don't forget to check out all our social media. Links will be in the description. Uh, you have anything else to add, Andrew? Mm -hmm. No, I think that's pretty much it. All right, and anyways, welcome, welcome back, back to, to Everyday, Everyday Espo. Espo.